hey everyone and welcome to another video and in this video i will show you how you can secure your password with the help of bcrypt.js so first of all let me just show you what i have here so uh, let me just run my server real quick i will write nodemon index then i will show you what i have written the code here first of all i will just make a like simple login and sign up form here so let me just reload the page all right so it is a simple login and sign up form which uh, you can use to get the entries and you can store it in your mongodb compass here so i have made this uh, like a really easy login and sign up form and you can check how to make this i have given the link in the description and it will be available in the i button also so in this video we will not be going to discuss how to make this login form but how to secure your password so what i mean by that if you go to the mongodb compass here and you can see there are two entries here okay and you can clearly see the password and name so the whenever a hacker or like imagine whenever a hacker manages to hack your database then he or she can easily like get your name and password so in that case you have to use bcrypt or any other like hashing method to like save or secure your password so let's see how it is done so first of all let me just show you one more thing here it is it is a graph uh, which like hashing method is better so uh, in this graph look at this md5 and it says 2 seconds so what it means it will take the hacker only 2 seconds to hack and get your password and the most secure one is you can see here is bcrypt and that's exactly what we are uh, be using today okay so you can see there are two types uh, which is the first one is four round and 12 round so these rounds can be can vary okay you can write 10 rounds 15 20 but uh, that 10 i would suggest is the like uh, to go number okay uh, 12 as you can see here uh, if you just write 12 uh it will take a hacker more than 3 years to hack your password and if you go beyond 12 if you write 20 or 25 so you can imagine uh it will like take a lot longer so let me just show you how to use that so first of all uh, you have to install one dependency which is bcrypt js so i will write npm i bcrypt okay js so make sure the spelling is correct and let it install it all right and now let me just start the server once again nodemon index okay so it is so the server is running and it has no error so let me just show you or uh, let me just create a new entry here so let's say a b c d a new like submission here as you can see the sign up is complete and let me just show you if the entry is here or not so as you can see the entry is also here so how to like secure the password okay so let's start so first of all to require the bcrypt js you have to write const bcrypt you can write any variable and then you have to write require okay and then bcrypt js all right all right so let me just move it uh here okay and now to hash your password uh, i will make two functions okay first of all let me just show you the first one so i will write function and i will name it hash pass you can name it whatever you want then it will take an argument let's say pass okay or uh, let me just write a full password here and then oops all right and inside this function uh, we will create another variable let's say const and then res is equal to now the main thing comes now we will use bcrypt js so you will write bcrypt dot hash so this hash as you can see is a function in bcrypt js to hash your password and in this hash you have to pass that parameter which is password and then write a comma 
and here you have to pass the number so i will pass 10 and what is this number uh, it is this number as you can see if you pass 4 here it will take around 160 days and if you pass 12 it will take more than 3 years to hack so the 10 is like pretty safe spot you can write 15 or 20 also but 10 is fine okay and uh, then i i will just return it just return the result okay so in this way i can use this function now after writing this function i have to also use this so let's use that in the sign up form so whenever a new user will sign up in my website the password will automatically change to hash so how i can do that so in this uh, code you can see i am declaring an object in which it says name and password and this name and password will then uh, will be saved in the mongodb so instead of this password here I will write the uh, the name of the function. So what is the name of the function here? Hash pass. So let me just correct. So yeah, it is hash pass. And in the parameter, I will write this one request dot body dot password. So what it will do? It will get the password which was written by a user. So let's say the user writes one two three. So it will change that one two three into a hash. So let's save and see if it works or not. Okay. So let's reload it. All right. And go to the sign up page. Let me just zoom a little bit. Okay. All right. So now let's say new and let's, I will just write a password one, two, three. So I've written here one, two, three, and I will hit submit. And okay. It is saying wrong inputs. So it is giving me an error. So let's see what is that error. So one thing I forgot to do that this bcrypt.js will use async and await. So make sure to use the async and await in your function. Okay. All right. And then I will write here await. All right. So in this way, I think it should work now. So let's test one more time. Okay. I will go to the sign up page. Let's write a new and I will write password one, two, three and hit submit. Okay. It is still giving me error. All right. All right. So I have to change here also. Okay. Uh, so I have to write await here also. So it is a pretty small mistake. So let just reload it and reload this also and write new and one two three and hit submit up oh, oh no uh new and uh, one two three hit submit and yes now it worked and let's see in our mongodb compass if it is there or not so let me just reload it and yes so as you can see here guys the password is now in the hash form you can see let me just zoom if you can all right so you can you can see the password is in hash format and this is the hash value you get after hashing your password so in this way uh, if any hacker hacks your database then he or she cannot get the password okay and you can do the same for the name also if you don't want to show the name then you can hash that also all right but there is one problem uh, if i just log in here so the name was new and the password was 123 so if i just hit submit it is saying incorrect password but why it is saying that because the password is now this one and you have to write this password so let me just write this password let me just copy this and paste it here okay so name was new password was this and now if you just hit submit so now it works so every time you have to use that password but uh, the user cannot remember okay user don't know what is this one so we, now we have to also check if the user password is correct or not so to do that we will create another function okay so we will come up here all right so so under this one i will copy this function down and uh, i will name this function compare so it will compare the hash password and the user password 
and it will tell if it uh, like it is true or not okay if the password is same or not and this compare function will take two arguments so make sure uh, it will take two arguments the first one will be user password okay so make sure the first one is user password and the second one is your hash password so hash pass all right so it will take two arguments and now you have to use uh, the compare function so instead of this hash i will write here compare and this will also take two arguments the user pass and then this hash pass okay so make sure the user pass is written first and the hash pass is written second otherwise if you just like uh, invert these it will not work okay and then i will just return this res so it is just same as this one but it will just take two arguments and now i have to use this function so where i will use it i will use in the login form so here it is our login post here and uh, uh, i will make a variable here so let's say let and uh, i will name it um let's say pass check okay so it will check the password and i will write aware so i await and then the name of the function which is compare and then i will give it two arguments so the first one will be user password so what is user password the user password will be request dot body dot password so this is the user password and now i have to pass the hash password so how we can get the hash password i will write check dot password so in this way this check dot password okay so this check dot password is the hash one and this one is the user one okay and now i have to use this variable here so if it is true so okay so this compare function will give true or false so i will remove this condition here okay if check and this one so if these both are true then only i will render the home otherwise it will say incorrect password so let's check if it works or not i hope you understand it okay so let's check it i will go to the login page i will write new and the password uh, now i will write 123 so let's hit submit and yes guys now as you can see here it is taking me to home and also you can see the password here is in the hash format okay so this is a pretty basic like logic how you can hash your password with the help of bcrypt js it is very simple you just have to like create two functions or you can do it without creating these two functions okay you can like simply write these functions uh, in the login or sign up post also all right so to show you more clearly what is happening here i will just use some console log and show you what it returns so you can understand more clearly okay so i will comment uh, i will copy this down here also and now i will just i am just console logging uh, this res from this function and also this function so let me just save it and run one more time here so first of all i will uh, make a new user so make a new account so let me just like write anything and the password will be 123 and let's hit submit okay so it is saying home and now let's see the vs code as you can see it is uh, giving me the hash password so this is the hash password and let's see in the mongodb compass here if it is there or not so as you can see here there is the password and this is the exact same which we are getting here okay so this is the exact same and now let's try uh, to log in okay so let's try to log in so i will what was the name a a a and the password is 123 so let's hit submit and yes it is showing me home and as you can see here it will return true because i have told you this compare function this right here will give true or false so if the password will be false it will give here false so let me just show you that also so name a a a and the password let's say i have written here something like this okay and the wrong password 
and as you can see here, it is giving me the incorrect password and the, in the console you can see it is showing me false so i hope you get the point and how to use the bcrypt js to secure a password it is very easy you just have to create two functions okay and it, they are very small functions also and for more amazing content uh, subscribe to the channel like the video and that's it for this video guys i will see you in the next one